All right, I got another important video for you. This comes from Titan ADK. He's being pulled over by the Broomfield Police Department in Broomfield, Colorado. We'll get to their Facebook page in a second. But the reason I wanted to highlight this is because it exemplifies the fact, the objective fact that traffic law trumps individual rights. Traffic law trumps the supposed supreme law of the land, the constitution. If you have an expired tag, that gives them the justification to pull you over and interfere with your pursuit of life and happiness. We're gonna go over this, but I wanna show you that we are all at the mercy of the law enforcers who have qualified immunity. It's time to end qualified immunity. It's time to end Terry v. Ohio. It's time to overturn Pennsylvania versus MIMS. And this is why. Okay. Uh, these officers are pulling me over. They said it was a tag. Now they're saying that I have drugs. I have no drugs. I'm a business owner. I'm late to pick up my wife. Now they're trying to tell me that I have to step out. I haven't committed a crime. This is Matthew Wilson, uh, CEO of Addictive Culture Entertainment. I'm going to pick up my wife. I got pulled over, cited by these officers, saying my tag. Now they're pulling me over, talking about they want me to get out. No crime has been committed. And they have reasonable, articulable suspicion by constitutional law that I have to have drugs in my car and they are therefore allowed to do a search on my car. Just a real quick reminder, reasonable, articulable suspicion does not come from the Constitution. It's lower than probable cause, which is in the Constitution, it's in the Fourth Amendment, and there has to be probable cause that you have committed a crime. Reasonable, articulable suspicion is a lower standard that comes from Terry v. Ohio from 1968. So we got we to gotta understand that this is another thing that trumps individual rights. This is another thing that capitalizes on and lords itself over the Constitution. That's Terry v. Ohio. Pennsylvania versus Mims. If the cop feels like his life's in jeopardy or his safety is being somehow tampered with, then they can ask you to get out of the car, actually demand that you get out of the car and you've got to obey. In other words, you've got to give up your right to be secure in your property to step out for officer safety. That's another thing that trumps individual rights. That's another thing that trumps the Constitution is officer safety. Now, I've told you that I have no drugs in the car. I've told you that I'm not getting out the car because I know the law. I haven't committed a crime. If you want to violate my rights further, I promise you, you're going to be famous. And I'll tell you right now, I don't normally do this, but we have some drug detectives that were following you. And wow. yeah, and they think- Where they follow are... Where they follow me from? Tell me. Well, I don't have that information, but- I they... travel this road every day. Okay. My wife is a doctor in Boulder. Mm -hmm. They want you out of the car and we want to do a sniff on the car with the drug doctor. I'm, I'm not, you don't have, call your supervisor. Okay, I'll get the-, I'll get Are the... you going to violate my, violate my rights? I just told you to call your supervisor. Okay. I'm late picking up my wife, bro. And I can go, I can get information from other officers that tell me they have probable cause to do a sniff on your car. Because I'm a black man in a Beamer. I had no idea you were a black man until I stopped Because I'm you. a black man in a Beamer. Did not know with the tinted windows. I don't care about you, whoever your uh, supposed um, detectives are that follow me. You know, this could be about racism. There could be white supremacists on the force of the Broomfield Police Department there in, in Colorado. But... It's not a racism thing, generally speaking. It's an authoritarian thing. It's a man who thinks that he has authority over another man because he has a costume on, because he has a shiny badge on, because he comes with the authority of the state. We got to understand, uh, we got to stop dividing ourselves in black, white, Hispanic, Asian. We are just human beings, every single one of us. I don't care what article of clothing you're wearing. I don't care if you wanna walk around in that funny costume, that Halloween costume. You don't have more rights than me and I don't have more rights than you. This is an authoritarian issue. It's a statist issue. And I travel this road daily, back and forth, multiple times. Yeah. My wife works in Boulder. If you violate my rights, I'm going to make a case against you and I'm going okay. to win. Okay. You're profiling me because I'm black. It has nothing to do with that. You're profiling me because I'm black, bro. You just happen to be black and I just happen no, to be black. No, you just happen to not be the first officer of white descent to call me a drug dealer because I'm in a Beamer. My family is rich. 
Okay. My family is rich. I don't have to sell drugs. We own construction companies, restaurants, entertainment businesses, okay. houses, real estate, and all type of shit. I don't have to sell drugs, bro. A lot, a lot of people that sell drugs get rich, and then they have these other shell companies that uh, are you're, shell you're companies. You're profiling me. Are you going to violate okay. my rights? Well, we'll, we'll I asked you to by. call your supervisor. Okay, we're working on that. I've asked him to call his supervisor, everybody. You want to go back and say he wants my supervisor? I don't know. They're sitting on the side of a highway right now, one of the most dangerous places that you can be. Not only is his life in jeopardy, not only is his life in jeopardy, but the lives of the officers are in jeopardy. And the lives of the people who are passing at 60, 70 miles an hour on the highway, their lives are in jeopardy. A dog sniffing it. Bro, you can bring your dog. Bro, you can bring your dog all you want. You're gonna look stupid as fuck. I promise you. Okay. And I'm a suit. Okay. I don't have to sell drugs, bro. My family rich than a motherfucker. I ain't gotta sell nothing. I'm set for life. You about to find out. Watch. Racist motherfucker. Pull me over for a tag. They said it was a tag. Now they're saying I'm a drug dealer. Detectives were following me. That's not freedom. This isn't the land of the free, home of the brave. Every one of them sitting ducks every second they sit there. Sir, excuse me, sir. A supervisor is on the way to talk to you. Okay, but I do need you to exit the vehicle now. I haven't committed a crime and so, I'm not getting out the car. You're not okay. going to violate my rights. I know the rights. I got a lawyer. We got sir. lots of lawyers. I appreciate that, sir. But by I didn't even have to give him my information and I cooperated. If I was a drug dealer, why not run? Okay. If I was a drug dealer, why did I give him my... I know the law. I don't even have to give him my information. Well, you do. Because exactly. I haven't committed a crime, okay. bro. You operate your vehicle with the expired registration. That's not a crime, bro. Yes, yeah, That's a civil them. court, bro. Okay, so listen to me, sir. So, sir, we're asking you nicely. Legally speaking, we have the right. The Supreme Court has already decided we can ask you to get out of the vehicle. You choose to not get out of the vehicle is a criminal offense in itself. He's right. He's right. The Supreme Court has decided on that. Pennsylvania versus Mims. If they want you to get out of the car, according to the Supreme Court, you have to get out of the car. You have to obey the command of the cop. We don't want to go that area. Go that route. Watch this, y'all. Okay. So a supervisor is on the way, but you need to get out of that vehicle because if you don't, we're going to remove you from the vehicle and you'll be charged with a crime. You'll be violating my rights and I'm going to sue the fuck out of you. And that's your choice as an American citizen. Oh. But we don't want to have to get that way. So if you get out of the vehicle, we don't have to use force and we don't have hey, to. Hey, look, I'm going to let them search, y'all. Watch this. Don't say that. Don't say that. Take the fifth. The more you say, the worse it is for you because they're going to accumulate data. They're going to take your words. They're going to twist them and they're going to beat you over the head with it. They're going to create a case and that's what they're doing. They're creating a data file on you and they're creating a case against you. So even if you say something tongue, tongue in cheek, even if you say something in a facetious way or a sarcastic way, they're going to take that as, well, he said we could search his vehicle. He gave us consent. No, you say, I do not consent. I want my lawyer. All y'all badge numbers in here. I want you to check everything in here. I'm going to open up the trunk for you, too. I'm open up the trunk for you. I want y'all to search. Have a good search. Have a good search. Watch this, y'all. It's nothing. It's nothing personal, man. It's because I'm black and I'm in a beamer, cuz. nothing about me. Look at my family, rich as fuck. You about to find out. Which way? It's nothing about that. It's, it's because of that right there. You see that? December 16th of 2022. So if it was a tag, you're citing that to me it's a tag. This individual told me that detectives, drug detectives were following me, bro. That might be There's people out here doing 90 that's and a 65. You chose to pull me over. You cited this. I know the law, bro. I got lots of lawyers okay. and lots of money. You told me it was a tag, but now all of a sudden, Drug detectives follow me from where? Where they, where they follow? From a drug house? They Because I'm black, I must have came from the trap. It's nothing about race. I must have came from the trap house, huh? I promise you right now, I can promise you right now. Here comes the dog. 
Also, another thing that trumps your individual rights, another thing that lords itself over the Constitution is the drug dog. The drug dog is the choice of cops to violate your rights. It's another opportunity for them. It's another justification that they can pull out of their arsenal to beat you over the head and let you know, hey, you're not as free as you thought you were in America, buddy. It's not about race. It's not about that. I understand your frustration. Have you had any good experience with officers? What's your before? name and your badge number? My name is Officer Zamora. Hey, I'll give you my card as well. My name is Officer Zamora with the Broomfield Police Department. My badge number is 5042. Here's my card. 5042. Yes, sir. What's your name and your badge number? Officer Ehlers, badge number 5475. What's your name and your badge number? Jay Lingle, 574. Like you said, it's, it's not about this. Your dog getting fired up because I don't have drugs. I'm a business owner. Just do me a favor real quick. Just stay right here. I get your agitated and I get it. I'm gonna I mean, shut up. I'm gonna just shut up. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Look at this, y'all. Five of them. Five cops. They all came for me. I'm a drug dealer. And even if he was. How many Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid trucks filled with drugs, filled to the brim with drugs pass by there? See, it's not that they're against drugs. It's not that the cops are against drug dealers. They just don't want you to offer competition against the people that they protect. It's a protection racket. It's not that I have disrespect. It's not even personal. It's not for race. It's not for like So my dog did indicate the odor of narcotics in the vehicle, so we are going to search the vehicle, okay? Your, your dog, he, he, he smelled narcotics? He indicated Watch this. Hey, why, hey, look, hold on. I'm Cops are trained to lie, and they're trained to train their dogs to false hit, according to what some experts have said. Here's part two. Boy, you racist bitch ass. My apologies, you're losing your appointment there. Your dog getting hit on my car. I know the cop tricks because I got a brother that's a cop. The cop didn't hit, your dog didn't hit on shit. And when you don't find nothing, just make sure you show up and say it in court. I wonder if this guy backs the blue. If his brother's a cop, I wonder if he's a backer of the blue. Back the blue till it happens to you. Trust me, I got you. It's going through this guy's car. Bunch of bunch of armed road pirates ransacking this guy's private property. I want to watch him search my vehicle. That's my wife. That's my wife. I can watch him search my vehicle. I'm right here. You're not going to be right on his back. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. Go back there. I'm right here. You got to back. You got to go back there. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not violating I don't want to put my hands on you, but you need to go back here. I'm not violating nothing. Please follow me. I have the right to walk. I got a body cam on. If, if, not going to be anything. Well, I got a body cam on that I can manipulate anytime. I can turn the audio off. I can turn it completely off as I plant my drugs. I would not. I don't trust cop body cams. And even if they didn't turn their audio off, even if they didn't shut their body cam off, how long is it going to take you to get that video evidence for yourself? And when you get it, are they going to redact something? Are they going to edit things out? Are they going to edit where they drop that little baggie of whatever under your seat? Yeah, right, sir. Let's please walk back no farther. Right where we were, because that's right now. You do have the right to watch. That's fine. Farther, please. Farther. I, like no, I said, I'm fine. I ain't doing nothing to you. I know you're fine. That's why I don't want to put I'm not doing nothing to them. Nothing. I don't want to touch you with nothing. That's I'm why not I'm doing asking. nothing to them. They violate my please. rights. Please stand over here. They violate little, my rights. A little bit farther. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, you're more than welcome to watch. That's fine. But please, when I ask you, please, at least respect that. Respect what I'm asking you to stay with please. I respect people that treat humans like humans. I'm trying. I'm trying That's to what I respect. I'm trying to show you respect right now, dude. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show you respect right now while my fellow armed gang members are ransacking your private property. How's, how am I doing in the respect department? I don't even know your first name. Right now, I'm still trying to show you respect. I'm still trying to talk to you, man, man. Give me the humor. It's okay. I'm a drug dealer. Me personally, the reason I showed up is because I just pulled a traffic stop over there. It's nothing about because of anything like you're saying. But literally, I was just right there. Okay? I just want to clarify. I got drugs in the car, y'all. I got uh, pounds. 
cocaine and heroin I've been trafficking all over the globe. This is pitiful, man. This is Police State USA. This gonna be good. This gonna be a good one right here. You've got no rights on the road. They are the pirates. They are the kings. And I didn't have to get out the vehicle. And y'all couldn't pull me out. I know the law. So you threatened to charge me. That's something else I'm going to bring up in the lawsuit. So I'll explain that statute if you let me. So I know the statute. I got a good lawyer. That's right. That case law actually. So that case law says that in any traffic stop at any time, for any reason, an officer can ask a person to exit the vehicle. The law also them. says I don't have to get out the vehicle. Pennsylvania versus Mims. There you go. Thanks, Supreme Court. So it does, though. So anytime an officer pulls somebody over, even if they think that it's for officer safety purposes and they prefer to pull a person out of the car, they can. They said I'm a drug dealer, y'all. Watch this. Can I talk to you, please? Just out of respect. Can That's I all I ask real pirate says can i talk to you please just out of respect all i'm asking is just a little respect please listen to me as we're going through your private property treating you like a dog just demeaning you putting you under our heels can you please respect me sure you, you may not be the one but you're a culprit to it you may not be like this but you're an active culprit I'm, to I'm, it. I'm at least trying he is like them. I'm at least trying. Well, if you were trying, officer, then you'd be protecting this guy's individual rights like you swore you would. You put your hand on a Bible. You raised your right hand toward heaven. And you said you protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Well, turn around because there are your domestic enemies you're supposed to be protecting this man from. He's trying to be one-on-one, -on -one, man to man and just have a conversation with you. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not disrespecting you. I don't know you, man. You don't know I'm me. I'm not disrespecting you. No, well... In a way, you're not letting me talk. I'm trying, I want to just explain this. That's all. I just want to talk to you man to man. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Look, they done went front back. No drugs, guys. No drugs, guys. And if not, we're out of here. If not, then no big deal. Okay? I'm black and I'm in a Beamer. That's why. We can't have nothing without being drug dealers. I worked my ass off for years in construction before I built my own company. So a productive member of society is being stopped and detained and harassed by not only unproductive members of society, but actually armed bandits who are committing roadside piracy, not adding to the community, but taking from the community to increase the coffers of the state. So they can become, become more powerful so that they can take away your rights and then exercise their own supposed rights in their heads. This is a classic case of mental cognitive dissonance. You seem like a hard worker. You seem like a hard worker. Ah, and he lied. He said his dog hit on my car. Life in America as a black man, y'all. I'm gonna make him famous. How about as a white man? How about Daniel Shaver? How about James Boyd? How about Johnny Wheatcroft? It, white or black, it doesn't matter. When you get a uniform, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. It corrupts their minds, it corrupts their hearts, and they actually believe that there's something that they're not, that they're above you, that you are underneath them, and they will trample you and justify the trampling. Sorry, you're I'll just sit back in the vehicle if you want to wait out here. For the supervisor, you want to wait in the vehicle. I want you to give me my ticket so I can go to my appointment and pick up my wife. You don't want to you to already disrespect. You just lied. He just lied and said that his dog hit on my car. Did you find any drugs, sir? No, sir. I know you didn't. Because I'm not no dick. Now, give me my ticket. Okay, if you want to take a seat back in the vehicle. All right, there's one more part to this. This is the last part, minute and 52 seconds. You, want to step out or you, want to... you said somebody gave you intel that I was a drug dealer and drug detectives followed me? They, they gave me intel to stop a car. 
to, to identify you and then also to sniff the car. Who is these individuals that told you this? They're I have a right to know. It's My not. lawyer's gonna wanna know too. Yeah, well, it'll be in a, a copy of our documentation. A copy of your documentation? Yes. You're documenting me when I was originally stopped for my tag. Yes. I mean, and that was my reason for stopping. You. But you're documenting me. Everything is documented. It's everything. It's everything. Documented. It's everything is documented. Like this. So who are these people? Where they follow me from? You said they followed me. Where did I they follow? I have all that information. It was a really quick, brief conversation to catch up to your car and stop. We're only provided certain information. We're only provided when they call him and say, "Hey, this guy, we have information that may or may not have any sort of substance, such as like drugs or anything like that, may be in the vehicle." If, you, if there's a violation, such as your tag right there, if there's something, then I can stop you. You can stop, and I can get your information. So, but you I can I can use that as a justification to conduct my fishing expedition. <laughs> and you originally said it was my tag, it is your but tag. then you said I was a drug dealer, so under suspicion of having narcotics. I, in because me. I was going to let you go on a warning with the tag, and then that's why I asked you if you had any narcotics. But why? Car. Because I was black. Has nothing to do because with that. black people always have drugs. No. It I, must be because black people always have drugs. I had no That's idea why. what your race was but until I got up to you, sir. Okay, but when you got up to me and seen that it was a black man behind the wheel of this brand new Beamer, I just want I'm going to sue the fuck out they ass. Watch this. City of Broomfield about to pay me. You're going to add some more to our family portfolio. And that's it with that. No oversight, no accountability, no personal responsibility, and no punishment. This is the Broomfield B Police Department. Stay aware, focused, and educated. There is a phone number right there. I will leave the link in the description to the YouTube channel Titan ADK and to the Broomfield Police Department in Broomfield, Colorado, their Facebook page. I'll leave that if you want to air out your grievances respectfully, kindly to the Broomfield Police Department. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you'll like some of my others. I've got a lot of videos right here. You got the popular videos list, you got the right to travel wins playlist, the memorizing rights and laws playlist. There's a whole lot of videos that you probably haven't seen and you can catch up on and they're all still very much just as in play today as they were the day that I made them, unfortunately. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, the links are in the description and become a channel member, or you can also grab a hard hitting conversation starting design. You can put on a shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. Remember the price of freedom is eternal vigilance and indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. Freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having it. I'll see you in the next video.